Howdy, Rod. Howdy. How are you getting on? Good. I'm going to lay a bit of a statistic on you that oh, I've discovered. Coming out hot. Okay. Well, yeah. when coming out hot, I mean, I saw it four days ago, forgot to say it, and it's here now. <laughs> Is, yeah, and it's going to set the tone for the rest of this episode, um, and that's <laughs> people have spent 31 <clears throat> billion hours playing Steam games in 2020. That's a lot of hours. That's a lot of hours, which is also <laughs> a 50% increase from 2019. That's a big increase. That is a big increase. Uh, that's a lot of hours. It's a lot of hours. And that's just Steam, so that's not including that's PS5. Just, yeah. Or the Xbox Switch. Or even just like things. Epic Games. Or... Epic Games. Yeah. That's mad. That's what, that's a that's lot of what, um, that's what Lockdown does. You just, just play random shit. Yeah. Yeah, when you said it was only a 50% increase, um, I was like, okay, this is still a lot of hours, but I can see it happening because, like, you know, we had the yeah. lockdown and all that jazz. Yeah, and people but still be like a lot of hours. Yeah, it's a lot of hours. Thirty-one billion. Well, as I said, that's gonna set the um, the tone for this because a lot of things that happened in the past week are kind of video game and movie related, and video game yeah. movie related. And uh, not a lot in TV <laughs> series, which we'll start off with TV first, just to get quiet, out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Well, I say quiet, but we did have our first Marvel release. Yes, finally, we've uh, been discussing this for ages. Yeah, it finally came out. One division. Uh, I haven't seen came, it. Two two episodes came out. Two episodes, yeah, uh, which is good. Yeah, they dropped two. Hmm. Yeah. Um. It's a bit, it, I liked it. I really liked it. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. It was different, you know. Um, mm. But it is kind of weird in the sense that you don't know what's going on. Yeah. And they don't give anything away at all of what's going on. I generally like that in TVs, yeah. movies, games, whatever. It's like you when the character doesn't know what's happening and you like learn along with the character i like that because it's easier to like bond with the character and yeah. stuff like that uh it's interesting you say you liked it because it's so different and unusual and weird but i i know someone who watched it and was like um i don't know and when they said it's like oh what they didn't like about it it's like they thought it'd be half sitcom and then some action yeah but no. And I was like, oh, no, 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 sitcom. No, no, no. Yeah, sitcom, yeah. Um, But it is definitely weird. It is, because, mm. like, you do see the, like, Wanda and Vision, um, like, they're confused, mm. you know? They, they're they not, like, it's like if they're not meant to be there, you know? So, like, someone might say something and they forget what's going on or they, yeah. they something's coming up, but they're like, what's, what is it, you know? And, like... Vision, you know, he's he's a genius. He shouldn't be able to forget anything, but he, yeah. he does forget stuff. He's an AI. So it, it's something, something is weird happening. And the first episode is set in, like, the 40s. Yeah. Right? So it's, it's all black and white. Yeah. And the second one is set in the 50s. And then the oh. next one will be in the 60s and 70s and 80s. So, like, I don't really know what's going on. <laughs> is it going to be, like... Is it just a limited series? But it, like the episodes are really short; they're only like around a half hour. They're only like half an hour, yeah. But um, I don't think it's going to be a limited series. I do think that they are going to start seeing like quote unquote like um, glitches in the system, kind of mm. a thing, where they're going to explain what's going on because like Vision is, I mean, unless you haven't seen Infinity War at this stage, Vision's dead, you know. Yeah. And Wanda is, well, she's on her own now. So, unless this happened before Infinity War, which I don't think it did. I don't think so either. Because, like, it's set in the 40s. Yeah. So, I don't I don't know what's going on. Well, I don't it's necessarily cool, think that it's set in the 40s. I, I think that... Sorry, I'm fucking around with audio for a moment here. Um... I don't necessarily think it's set in the forties. It's just I don't know where it's set or how it's set. It's so it's set in some. I I I have no idea about it either. But yeah, as you said, the first episode is set in a forties esque sitcom type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, hmm. I don't don't really know what's going on. It's good, in fairness. Like it's cool. To yeah, it is good. Yeah, it's good to like figure out what's going on. 
we'll just have to wait and see what how um how this evolves and develops the yeah. the future episodes but it is definitely weird and i i do understand why people would be like mm. nah it's not my cup of tea and mm. i get that because it's so different and there is because they're so short you don't know what's going on off the bat yeah yeah and uh what I'm happy that they did this time is they hinted at the fact that there's going to be glitches in the system and that it's weirdly set and all that type of stuff, but they didn't exactly explain any of it. They're just like, yep, their world's crumbling around them and you have no idea why. Yeah, exactly. It's really weird. And like, um, I was going to say something I forgot. <laughs> well, that was bad. Uh, but no, it is that you definitely don't, it doesn't feel like if they're actually like just you know, they got a gig after, like, Age of Ultron. And, they you know, they just start gig. working. Yeah, and they just start working on a sitcom together. Like, it doesn't feel like that, you know? Mm. It doesn't feel like they, they they went off and made a TV show together. It does feel like this is... In, something's like, happening. Someone's, some, yeah, something's weird. Like, if something... feels like it's either in Wanda's, like, imagination... Or like someone trapped Wanda and is like controlling her mind or something. Yes, there is a reference I saw today and I don't know. See, I haven't seen it, so I have no idea if this is a big thing or not. But apparently there's like mm. fake commercials in Yeah, the I, there show. wasn't any in the first one. Oh, yeah. there was actually. There was. was there? there was a, a toaster. Yeah. Okay. Apparently, those commercials are... Her biggest the fears sh- or something, isn't it? No, the Wanda's... Uh, yeah, I, I guess you could say the fears. It's the bad memories of Wanda herself. Yeah. So if they are described as the bad memories... Yeah. That's a bit of a hint. <clears throat> yeah, and there was like... There was a moment in the episode... I won't say what's happening or whatever, but... Sure. There's a moment in the, the first episode... Where it all... something Something happens... And it all kind of like the music changes to a deeper tone. Hmm. The cameras get closer to Wanda's face and Vision's face. And it just kind of becomes a little eerie for like a minute. And then it snaps out of it and it's back into sitcom Weird. Which makes me, yeah, which is weird, you know? So obviously something's going on. Yeah, it's weird because like they wouldn't have been able to do that back in like the 1940s without. Yeah. So it's, it's, in, it's interesting that they're making really eerie things like that with camera um, camera movements that would have been very, very improbable back then. Yeah, and then at the end of the episode, something, there's something there that kind of hints at something. I won't say what it is so for when you watch it. But at the end of the episode, there is something that hints at what's kind of going on, but not really, you know? Yeah. Which is doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's... It's where things keep hinting. It's good that it hints at the end of the episode where it's like, oh, look at this thing. Like, oh, I need to watch the next one. Yeah. To try and figure it out. Yeah, and I do think that there is going to be a lot of, in the the coming weeks, of just people re-watching episodes and just looking closer. They're going to start seeing a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of little hints here and there. And that's that's where the people are going to start putting it all together. Yeah. Like like you said with the the ads, you know, like obviously someone it clicked with them something about Wanda and then they realized that the the other ad was very similar that is something to do with a fear or something. Something, yeah. I don't know where they really properly came to the idea that it is there is her yeah. like bad memories or if it was something confirmed by a production unit or something like that. But yeah, so allegedly that's what it is. Yeah, and and that's what I said about like uh, going back a couple of episodes, saying that that's why I think periodically releasing them every week adds more excitement to the show. Because mm. if they would have released it all, right, we would already know what's going on. Because people oh, yeah. would have finished it by now, and Easily. we would know what's going on, and we we would know what happened. Yeah. Therefore, there's no time for speculation. No time for diving deeper into the meaning of of certain scenes certain um characters certain things that are found in the show mm. so that's why i i think 
these things are going to really work out because it's going to leave like fans just talking about it and that's what makes stuff fun yeah no it's, it's always really cool to see uh, like, like the main example we could have gone on or we have gone on about is like the Mandalorian the fact that it was released yeah. every week and people just kept finding things people found like the, the <laughs> yeah. insignia of Kaminoans on, on Stormtrooper outfits and shit like that and you're like you wouldn't have been able to find that as fast or at least as efficiently if it was all released in one go definitely because once once it's released like this these two episodes are released right and by the time the next one's released people would have watched it two three four five times mm. to pick up things but if if it's released all together you're gonna watch it all the way through and be like okay this is what happened and yeah. then maybe a week later you'll watch it again and then that's when you start picking stuff up but this way it makes you watch it over and over and over again till you get something. Yeah, until something else clicks with you, type of thing. Yeah, which is, which is cool. Like, hmm. how many episodes are in that? No idea. I'm guessing. It, it, I think it leads up to 2000, like the 2010s, maybe 20s. So what's that? 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 80. 90. Eight, eight episodes. Yeah. It's very short. It is a very sh- yeah. It's short enough. It's kind of like the Mandalorian. It's even shorter. If some of the episodes are half an hour, like I, I know the Mandalorian also had short enough episodes, but at least they hit like the forty marks. Uh, the yeah. first episode, it is was still yeah, it was kind of thirty, minutes? but it was still hitting the forty. Hmm. It's going to have nine episodes. Nine ep- yeah okay that, uh, that okay and nine yeah, and I assume they'll stick around as Mandalorian did at about the forty. 40 minute mark <laughs> yeah it'll be I in around so. that, that yeah like the first one was 28 minutes which I thought was fairly short mm. but the second one I think is I think it's 32 or 38 yeah I, I think really it's 38 remember. it's almost into 40 yeah um, which again 30 to 40 minutes is fine you know yeah Um. It is weird though. It is definitely weird, and it's it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea mm. till possibly the end when there yeah, is a bit end. more action. You know, because yeah. I do think there is going to be action eventually. Uh, yeah, and I'm uh, kind of worried about the action. Uh, yeah, I don't know how it's going to do like work out. Mm. Uh, but my main thing that's in my mind is. In one of the trailers, out, that's how I'll rephrase, the only trailer that I watched for, there is one scene where you see Wanda in this, like, soccer mom, sweatpants, hoodie, outfit type of thing. Just yeah. take off flying from the street, and I'm getting weird, like, Supergirl on the CW channel, shitty, anima- like, not animation, CGI, when she took off. It just didn't look right. It looked so <coughs> weird. It was like... I don't know, it, like, everything looked really bright because it was out mm. in the open and it was nice and sunny and then when she like took off, it she kind of just went and yeah. I don't believe they're going to they're, they're going to like sap the CGI cause, just because it's a TV show like the CW might have done. No, I don't think so. But I, it was just one, it was just one little scene where she just like took off I was like, ooh, ooh that doesn't look that great. Yeah, and in the the... I can't really. S- I did see that, but I didn't really catch up on that, uh, on that part that you were saying there. Yeah. But I, there was a bit of CGI in the first episode, not a lot, mm. just very little. So I can't really say how it's gonna look. The the only like CGI there is is like when Vision changes his face from Vision to to a human looking person. You know, mm. that's kind of the only CGI that's there. But like again, it's black and white. So it is kind of harder to pick up on bad CGI. Yeah. Yeah, because there's, there's already loads of speculations going around as well. All just random things, just complete. So many things with different Easter eggs in it. And yeah. It just goes back to what you were saying a few seconds ago. If, it, if, this, if it was released in one go, we wouldn't have all this type of stuff. Yeah. Some yeah. weird ones. It's it's a definitely weird. It's a weird. There's a weird sense to it because it's it's not just a normal like sitcom. It's like ha ha. 
there is a lot going on that is mm. like this this doesn't seem right you feel like this isn't right yeah which is good because like, it's good yeah. to have an unusual uh, feel to a, a sitcom because like it, it's an interesting take on because it generally it's like you think of sitcoms you just think of friends you're like oh okay random joke here or there some drama yeah. going on nothing creepy this is a sitcom but you're just like what's what's weird about this something is weird about this yeah yeah, and like it, it, we know we knew it was gonna be weird. We knew it was gonna be weird, and we knew something was gonna be going on. But this really like threw me off because I kind of had an idea of what might be going on. Now I have no idea what's going on, <laughs> which is good. Which is very good. You know? Oh yeah, makes it it makes you want to come back. You know. Yeah, more speculation. Yeah, and like it, it has the best. Um, Rotten Tomato score, um, out of all Marvel shows and movies. Yeah, I know it's still early on, but you know, people are liking yeah. it. You know, look, we saw what happened with Wonder Woman. They start off great, and then they start fluctuating and then plummet. So, we yeah, can, we can only wait and see how the series keeps going. Exactly, we'll just have to wait till episodes come out and just really find out what's going on and yeah. see. If it works out or not. Yeah. Yeah, we can only, we can like, only wait like, and see. Yeah. Like, like we said, like they're coming out with a lot of TV shows, so one of them is bound to be bad. Oh, yeah. You know? Easily. Like, it's not going to be a thing where they're all good. Yeah. You know, it's unrealistic. I mean, if they do, though, fair fair play. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, if I they do, do yeah. that'd be incredible. But I don't. I do think Wanda is going to be one of the good ones. Yeah. But anyway, from Marvel, we'll head off to DC for a moment. Um, yeah. Uh, we've got a new, a new, another update for the Moon Knight series, which is getting a lot of traction the past few days, and we now have Ethan Hawke as the main villain of it. And yeah. I I I like Ethan Hawke. I I I, I yeah. do. What's actually impressive to me is when I think a few years back. It was ever like, it was certainly not, we're not even I think to a few years back. When I just think of TV shows in general, I think that there are TV stars, and then I feel like there's movie stars. I always yeah. felt like there was like a good divide. Now it like now Oscar Isaac is in this. Now um, Ethan Hawke is in this as well. And then we look at all the Marvel stuff and see all the people who are in those. It's yeah. like there's a like it's a big wash from movie stars into TV stars as well, and probably vice versa too. Yeah, definitely. Like, there's, yeah, like you said, there, there used to be like that big divide of like the guy that plays the Flash or the Arrow is only the Flash or the Arrow, and yeah, is only in TV shows, and you you never see them in movies. Yeah, and but if you now, do, you still re- recognize them as the person from that movie, from that TV exactly, series. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, and now now it is like like you said, it it's kind of that divide is becoming a little blurred. Yeah, you know, which I love because I love seeing big actors come into random things. Yeah, and like, obviously the actors in movies are like more well known, and um, they got more exposure, mm. uh, so th- their talents might be more developed, or they're just better actors or actresses. It's just actors now, isn't it? Yeah, um, actors. Yeah. Um. So, it is nice that it is going. Well, it's kind of looking like you could do either or, and it's like it's no like weird like thing, you know? Yeah, and like okay, there's obviously going to be repercussions for TV stars coming into TV series, like new people trying to get into yeah. the industry. One, God help you in what's going on at the moment. I'm sure you'll find some way of getting into it. Um, mm. but like, it obviously it could be something like. Oh, since this big movie star is going into TV series, people who want to go into TV series won't be picked up as easy because they're like, oh no, this bigger star is coming. So away you go. Yeah, yeah. Go, it can, yeah, it could be a good or bad thing, you know? Yeah. I guess yeah. for us, it's probably going to be a good thing. For newcomers into that industry, oh God. It'll be a little tougher, yeah, definitely. And like, but I do think that this is going to be a, a very quick phase. Oh, because yeah. Because. 
like uh, big actors like like Elizabeth Olsen or like even like Ewan McGregor mm. and like <clears throat> all those guys that are usually in movies and going to TV shows. I feel like recording a TV show is a lot harder than a t- uh, than a movie. Yeah, um, it could be. It's a lot a lot more time on set recording, and then it's it's not just though like one time you record it and you record a season and it's done you have to come back for season two mm. and you have to come back for season three and you have to come back for season four unless you're you know, with a, any member of the fast and furious <laughs> franchise yeah. and you come back for the next 10 movies <laughs> yeah but yeah exactly usually movies uh are just kind of like here's a movie and that's it you, you know? might do a unless trilogy you might do a trilogy but f- like usually it's like here's your movie what's my next project yeah you know but i with tv shows it's you have to come back plus do any other movie that you want to be doing yeah you know and it can be a lot of work can be a lot of work it's not an easy not an easy industry to go into no it seems like easy for my it's like oh just you know they just go on set and have all this fun and no it's not it's (laughs) so there's a lot to it there's a lot. Otherwise, everyone would be an actor, you know? Yeah, everyone could be an actor who walk on set and be like, yeah, I'm going to be this role. There's yeah, a reason why there's so many extras. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah, it would be interesting for, like... It to be able to go both ways, you mm. know? Um, but we'll just have to wait and see, I guess. We can only wait with this, yeah. Just wait. Really? It's because it's it's cool to see. Did I? Sorry, I need to rewind for a second. Did I say going from Marvel to DC and then start talking about Moon Knight? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's completely fucking wrong because Moon Knight is still Marvel. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think up on that. Oh, there's another yeah, character similar to Moon Knight in DC, and I got completely confused. I always get the, the Dark Knight, stuff. maybe. No. 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 <laughs> Um, there's another no, one. But, yeah, no, but in fairness, I, when you said it, 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 it didn't click with me either because it's kind of like, you know, that that character kind of does seem like a DC kind of character. Oh no! It, oh, if people listen to this, I hope they wait the extra five minutes for the apology because I'm gonna get fucking slated. Five? It was about ten. <laughs> was it, nah, it was five. I was looking at the nah, five, seven and a half. Okay, well, okay, seven. And a half, <laughs> Um, but, um, okay, mm. this next segment would be more would be more efficient because I can't really fuck this up. From superheroes over to the fantasy element of things, <laughs> got that one. Um, we uh, we got was it this week? We got a synopsis of the. Oh wait, shit! I did manage to mess that up. <laughs> oh my god! I managed to mess that up. <laughs> Stick deep breath. Try oh. Again. No, wait, hang on. Is this? I need to figure out if this is DC or not. Okay, so so I'll say something now here. Um, like in the past years, right? I'll ask you a question. And mm-hmm. in the past couple of years, we've had like Marvel movies being amazing. You know, they they've run the show. DC have struggled with it, but then DC have done really well with TV shows, right? With like Arrow and the Flash. Do yeah. you think now that all these other ones are coming out that people are going to realize, oh, wow, The Flash wasn't actually as good as I thought oh, it yeah. was? Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like, they're going to be like, yo, is like this, this is what a TV show is meant to be like? <laughs> yeah. Know? You think so, yeah? Oh, yeah. Because DC's going to lose that, like, we're better at TV show badge that they uh-huh. were wearing proud <laughs> uh-huh, yeah because i i watched the flash for a good long while like, this is a really good show and then it was about when like the punisher came out and i was like yeah this is really trumping the flash now <laughs> yeah because i remember i remember myself watching um uh the flash and a lot and i used to watch a lot of the flash and a lot of the arrow and then it kind of became really bad after like Three seasons. I know the arrow is done now. Choked up about that. Yeah, uh, the arrow is really done. Is done now. It's that's over, Mm. and the flash is still going. And people, there is definitely a following 
of The Flash that absolutely love The Flash. But now that all these other ones are coming out and they're going to be a lot bigger budget-wise and actor-wise, it's kind of going to be like, yo, DC, what's going on? <laughs> Why yeah. are we getting any of this? Like, <laughs> I also feel like with all this stuff happening that it, like people are just going to get really saturated with superheroes and all this type of stuff. It's really come to the point where every time I see like Marvel stuff like that, I'm only like, eh, okay. It's more Marvel. It's more superheroes. It's more this type of stuff, which is why I'm so yeah. excited for like series such as I think it's, it's a Wheel of Time. Um, there seems to be some mm. form of fantasy. Yeah, it's a fan. It was a it's a fantasy novel. Um, it's, 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 it's all right. It's based, best based on fantasy novels, and then we also have the Lord of the Rings coming out, which is sorry, the Lord of the Rings series coming out on Amazon which yeah. is just getting more and more traction and we have like a synopsis oh, yeah. as well I can't fucking wait for that oh, that's gonna be great oh, and when <laughs> it's set as well back in the second era the age of Sauron like what like it's yes. just becoming more and more just, again it's more just more picking up it's good. just really picking up yeah mm. but what I'm also looking at when I see say I'm not really that interested in the superhero stuff for that I love it when they take when the superheroes are like they're not cliched they're not like just a regular type of superhero like captain america or iron man or all that type of stuff they're just like seen as the really cool guys like i love um unusual and i'm looking, looking forward to moon knight because it's such an unusual character yeah. um there's another one there i don't think it's a superhero i don't know if it's a villain i think it's an anti-hero again which procs my mind even more is sandman coming out which has been in the works for ages and is terrifying apparently it is scary really like, yeah. it, it ain't this I don't know if it's a DC or Marvel thing I don't I don't, don't think it's Marvel I think it's DC and I can't see it might just be on its own is that not the Spider-Man no it's a different thing different. Okay. it's DC then yeah it's DC okay um because it's a it's more creepy and it's weird um is it dc i don't know if it's dc it's graphic novels anyway either way yeah, yeah. but either way it's this type of unusual thing and it's just it's just another unusual um at like it's even if it's not a superhero brilliant give me more of this type of stuff and get get just get away from superheroes for a bit yeah, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, and I think TV shows is the best way to explore these weird unknown characters. Because mm. I feel like, <clears throat> like, like Moon Knight. Yeah, but, but a lot of people won't have heard of Moon Knight. Only like the people that are really invested in superheroes would he- hear of him. So releasing a movie might tank, you know. Yeah. So a TV show would definitely be better to like put it out there and be like here is this character Moon Knight and then if it really yeah yeah speaking of movies (laughs) speaking of movies yeah I was literally thinking the same thing speaking of superheroes and movies thing we'll stick with superheroes for a second um the first thing is yeah, we already knew it, but Deadpool is officially orated. Uh, Thankfully, thank God. Thank and God, right. the interesting thing about it is that it is also officially in the MCU. Yeah, which is weird. <laughs> which is weird for many reasons, not necessarily uh, like yeah. I know the first question people might be thinking of is. Oh, where was he in Endgame or stuff? So easy, he was fucking sleeping, most likely. <laughs> and and I um, and I do think they're gonna make a reference, especially. I feel like there's gonna be an end credit scene where he like disappears. And oh, absolutely. Gonna, and it's gonna be really fucking funny. Um, but what I'm worried about, right? Yes, it is orated, right? But now it's in the MCU. So does that mean? Is he gonna go into films like? Like, is he going to go into an Avenger no. movie, or are people going into his movies? I I would be more I would be more than happy for people to go into his movies. Yes, but I if agree he goes into 
if he goes into Marvel, if he goes into like Avengers movies, it's he won't work. He'd be just censored. If they go into his movies, that's yeah. even funnier. They'll just be out of place. So, yeah, uh, unless they do like a thing with like the X Men, because you can do O rated X Men movies, mm. and they're in the MCU. But again, Sony owns that, so. That's, yeah, and that, that, that was issue. the thing that that was the next thing where I was like, oh, that's why it's weird to see yeah. um, Deadpool come into it because he has so much affiliation with the X Men. You literally, he literally goes to the fucking house. He literally fights beside <laughs> two of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But most of them are owned by Sony, so what's going to happen? <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um. But it could be a thing like Spider Man. You know that they get rights for a couple of them for a while. And then they go back or something. I don't know. I, I don't know. Well, yeah, I, I guess. But it was just like the Spider-Man thing was like Sony gave Marvel credits or rights for a little bit. They tried taking it back. Even Tom Holland himself said, fuck <laughs> you. And yeah. then he just went, here, take it back. They, they're oh, angry. I'm sorry. Us, no. <laughs> like, no, no, you did so well. We want to take over from here. It's like, nah. <laughs> yeah, that's not how oh, shit works. And oh, so sorry. Sony learned out the hard way by oh, getting more than slap in the like, That was a, like a two day U turn as well. Oh, it like, was we fast. lost them and people were losing their minds. And then two days later, oh, we got them. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, it was, it was scary. And actually talking yeah. about Spider Man, we might as well continue on that topic as well. Jeez, we're great for segues today. I know we're actually doing pretty good in movies. <laughs> I was shit the first time. <laughs> we got there though. Um Speaking of it, um, this, the whole Spider-Man <laughs> three is just uh, we, we can't go one fucking podcast without talking about Tom Holland. Can we? we might as well just rename yeah, this we, Tom yeah, Holland podcast. The Tom, ha- Tom Holland podcast. Yeah. The Holland Age. <laughs> the Holland Age. That sounds like a sauce. The Holland Days. It does. But oh yeah, you know, if we name a fuck, if we have to rename a podcast to <laughs> something Tom Holland, it has to be the Holland Days, spelled D A Y S. The Holland Days. Oh. Genius. Genius. Anyways, genius. Oh. But anyway, it's Tom Holland. Just thinking about him. <laughs> just, uh, just thinking about him. Just, I mean, it. Anyways. Endless uh, possibilities. Endless possibilities with Tom Holland. <laughs> I said it out loud? I did. Okay. <laughs> anyway, Spider Man 3. Going back to. Whew. Got all yeah. hot and bothered there for a moment. Um. Spider Man Three is has Charlie Cox who played Daredevil finish up his filming his, on Spider Man Three. Man, that cast is massive. And that's the the thing is, I'm I first off, it feels like it's going. If sorry, no, I'm seeing a pattern when it comes to to um, Spider Man movies of the first one always does a really good job at setting up everything and it's really and it's good. The second one brings in like new enemies and stuff like that, um, and it's more of a. I, the second one's kind of more of a like a love thing, you know. They're trying to find their the the love in their life. Yeah, to to a good extent. Yeah, yeah. I see what you mean. It's it's more like developing of him as well, like Spider Man Two, like Tobey Maguire. Yeah. yeah, you saw the whole Mary Jane thing. Spider-Man, yeah, the Amazing Spider Man Two. You saw what happened to Gwen Stacy, and yeah. then this one you have Zendaya. And, and again, he, who's, he's who's he's trying to get her. In fairness. Yeah, you know. and then in the third ones, there always seems to be this <laughs> incredible influx of just cast of just characters and shit. Yeah, didn't work out the first time. Did not work the first time. Didn't, didn't work do out. it for the Amazing Spider-Man, did they? <laughs> yeah, that that was different because Spider-Man was not great. Didn't mm-hmm. work out the first time though. Didn't work out the first time, but we're not even done with the cast in this. I'm worried though. I'm worried as well. Too much. For so many reasons. First off, if you're going to do what you did the first time again just to market people, shit, that's not yeah. great. Second off, if they have characters like Charlie Cox and possibly, this is the other thing I was talking um, to mention, possibly Tom Hardy as Venom. Yeah. How are those characters going to be? Exactly. In, yeah. That's a lot. It's a lot going on. Like, it's a lot. Like, we have, like, uh, we've Electro, uh, we've uh, Doctor o- Octopus. Um, oh my God, we have him back! I completely forgot about that. Potentially Venom. We've Daredevil. Potentially Tom, Toby Maguire, and uh, Andrew Garfield. Andrew Garfield. 
Like, uh, and there's more that I'm not thinking of right now. Like easily. Pu- like uh, there's also rumors of like uh, Morbius going on, on to that. Mm-hmm. Uh, like, there's a lot, a lot of go- uh, Green Goblin. Like, there's a lot yep. in that film. So what has me worried is that they're putting a lot on their plate. And oh, way too much f- for a two and a half hour film. It's a lot. There's a lot that you have to cover. There's a lot you have to cover, and they don't have the freedom that Enter the Spider Verse did. Enter the Spider Verse did, because like that's an animated show, so they can briefly bring in characters and then briefly bring them away and make other references to them throughout the show, not yeah. show movie, and it, it like you you don't think about it as much. But since it's yeah. a live action, you kind of expect to see the enemies on screen a lot. Yeah, and, and especially because <clears throat> we've seen them before. Mm. You know, you can't just be like, oh, here's Tobey Maguire and uh, Andrew, and, uh, Andrew Garfield. That's it. Like, here you go. They're back. Yeah. You know, you have to explain how they're back or how they're, like, in this universe. And then, like, you have to explain how Dr. Octopus is alive. And, yeah. Like, and all this jazz. So what's what has me worried is that they have too much on the plate, and it's going to be too much going on, and it'll lose the impact because it'll be very rushed. Or they do like a part one, part two type of a thing. Mm. That they have two films ready to go, and the first one is kind of setting it all up, like Infinity War and Endgame. You know, yeah. one's setting it up for the big thing at the next one which I'm okay with too yeah I, I, I don't see it happening because their whole his their whole contract is three movies so yeah it's a bit of an issue yeah I know yeah so mm. uh, yeah I don't, hope. I don't really know I kind of just want to get a trailer at this stage to just know what's going on <laughs> like, yeah it, it just just confirm is Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield going to be in it just say yeah, no. And then if they yeah. say no, well, that's fine then. You know? The mood will tank. It'll be sad, but like at least like it's it's something less you have to cover, you know? Yeah. Uh, but I don't know, because like, again, we Venom movie before Spider-Man movie. So there is like, mm-hmm. there's belief that Tom Holland's going to be in that, like at the end. Which will potentially lead it into Spider Man three. Yeah. But again, I don't know. <laughs> don't know. They don't tell us anything. No, they don't. They really, really don't. And on top of like okay, so like sticking on just kind of movies that we're starting to get more info on. Yeah. There is one basketball related one that we've got the first look at <laughs> yeah a very quick very very quick look very into sp- quick very quick look at that i believe the description of it is blink and you'll miss it preview <laughs> <laughs> it literally is like a 1.5 second thing like um, is it no it is really short because it was like it's uh the way it was done it was i think it's a hbo max ad or something yeah and it oh. has it has a bunch of films just previewed on it, like King Kong and Godzilla, and it's literally just a, a, a second glimpse of every single film that's kind of coming out or they have on it. So yeah. it is literally just like we just see LeBron James and Bugs Bunny and a, a, a ray of like something shooting up into the sky, and that's all we see. Huh. Excited for Space Jam though. <laughs> Yeah, like seeing the different after um, the different pitches that uh, they had just before they came to this one. Yeah, there was the pitch for Louis Tunes back in action began as a sequel to Space Jam, and it starred Jackie Chan, and then eventually <laughs> morphed into an action comedy with Brendan Fraser as the lead. <laughs> Poor Brendan Fraser, first off, I'm like, I miss that man. He's still around, but I just want him back in movies. And then Space Jam 2 was in the works since 2014. Jesus. It's been... This is going to become, like, 
the Skyrim or Cyberpunk. Hopefully, just become this. Okay, hopefully, it becomes the Skyrim of. Sorry. Yeah, hopefully, it won't tank. Yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully, it just become like the Cyberpunk of the movie series, and people wait for it for ages. And when it comes out, it's not great. Yeah, and I and I think this film is going to get a lot of. Um, <clears throat> Like, no matter how good it is, it, there's going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, yeah, Michael Jordan did it better, LeBron sucks. You know, there's going to be a lot of that. Uh, oh, yeah. Because there's already a massive divide between the two of them. So now this is just going to be like, ah, oh, no, Michael Jordan did better. And that's, it's going to be unfair for Space Jam 2 on its own if it's a good film. People criticize it because they prefer Michael Jordan over LeBron. Yeah. And I'm because I'm looking at the the one screenshot that's probably fucking available yeah. from the ad, and like I'm seeing Bugs Bunny in the background, and it's going back to what we said was it in like four episodes ago or something like that with animation being put into live action. This yeah. looks okay, but every time I think of Space Jam, the first one, I always think it's what's really engaging about it is the fact that they're in they're still their original animation. Yeah. It is still 2D. Now that he's 3D, it just feels weird. Yeah. And it probably will be weird. Like, even looking at here, I'm sure we're looking at the same screenshot here. Um, and so there's only one screenshot yeah. of LeBron James looking quite sternly towards the camera. The, and but doesn't LeBron James there look a little fake? Doesn't he look like he looks... Uh, yeah. Doesn't he look like he's like a 2K character? I was literally thinking the exact same he game. Looks like he does 2K. look a bit rendered. Yeah. It looks like he's literally... Like they took his 2K character and put it into a movie. No, unless it's just because of everything that's going on in the background and the fact that it was an ad that doesn't, it's not going to look as good. And even looking at Bugs himself on whatever one I'm looking at it on at the moment. Yeah. He doesn't look as high res and high quality. So I'm, I'm going to go on a limb here and say it's, it's just, just the... It's just the- the clip, yeah. It's just the clip doesn't look as good. Yeah, probably um, is because, because it literally is a second, like. Yeah, it's literally a second, so I'm not gonna put a whole lot of effort into like rendering and all this type of shit. But even the lights in the background are so out of focus, type of thing. Yeah, I say it's just. It's I say weird, it's just so. the, that like one second clip that is just. It just looks a bit funny. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 like I'm, I'll still hold a hope because it just, it, just, it should, it should look better than that. In fairness, I'm sure it will. Yeah, it will. It will. It'll look way better. It look, it look. If it doesn't, if it's not going to be a good movie, it'll still look cool. Yeah, and like it, it'll be a fun little thing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> like we're, this isn't like, you know, a Spider Man that has a lot of a lot of shit writing on it. This is just Space Jam for the crack, you know. <laughs> the, yeah, it's, it's just another it's like, movie oh, coming you out. Gonna, he's going to gain a cult following. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm excited for it, though. Oh, yeah. Like you said, Look, this has been be in the works for a long just... time. Like... Yeah, it's been seven years almost. And it's, as yeah. you said, it's going to be one of those movies you just watch for fun. Yeah, it'll just be like, this is fun. You know? You, you're not really going to go into it and be like, oh, I'm going to look out for shit and like, like I'm going to be really critical of this. You're just going to be like, I'm going in to just enjoy myself for an hour and a half to two hours yeah I'm gonna watch fucking <laughs> I'm gonna watch Bugs, Bugs Bunny, Bunny again in 2021 <laughs> I'm gonna watch Bugs Bunny play alongside LeBron James yeah like you it know. was weird the first time <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, but yeah it'll, it'll yeah it'll, it's, it'll be that fun movie not gonna criticize it too much nah no, but what I will criticize a bit <laughs> is this <Here> go. <laughs> incredible in yeah here we go is incredible influx in video game movies. It's incredible how in the last couple of years it's just been movie after movie what after happened? movie. What, like, what the fuck? Like, and okay, the first one is the obvious one is Monster Hunter that came out. We all saw what happened. Oh, we did. <laughs> First off, it might have just been a bad movie. Second off, are we really are we really still butthurt over the Chinese thing? I don't think so. I think yeah. I think everyone's over that, and it's kind of more of like, you know what, the movie just sucks. The movie just does just suck, <laughs> which is sad. <laughs> I think I think 
it's gotten to the point where like you know what it's no longer about this racist thing it's now just the movie sucks <laughs> yeah it's just um, plain old bad it is just plain old bad uh, like but we have so many so coming, many like we we have now we we have so we had the Monster Hunter one. This is just the recent ones now. In the Monster Hunter one, mm. we have Uncharted. Oh, oh, the Uncharted one. Yeah. Another fucking Tom Holland. Can't get rid of that man. And uh, we have <laughs> the, the Mortal Kombat movie. Mortal Kombat. So this is yeah, three yeah. off the top of my head. And Sonic. And Sonic is the, another recent one as well. Uh, there's something about. Um, oh no! So Resident Evil are making a TV series. That, that's fine. Series. Um, does it cherries? You said cherries. <laughs> TV cherry. It's TV cherry. That's cherry. That's another Tom Holland movie. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, we really can't get rid of that band, oh, no, can we? No, no. All right, change our name. So, like, <laughs> change our name. Yeah, we'll, we'll go oh. with the Holland days. <laughs> but yeah, it I'm is... too proud of that. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> you can, Way uh, too proud. Yeah, we can. Hey, just sponsor us, you know. <laughs> Tom Holland, we've only ranted about you. Come on. Yeah. Give us a donation. But, uh, Not even donation. Just say hi. I'll come, come, come on the show. Come on the show. Oh, God. Oh, imagine. <laughs> imagine. Imagine. So, so Tom, what, what, are you, what are you working on at the moment? I'll stop. Later. <laughs> Later. Anyway, back to Tom. The intro to that would just be, remember how we said we can't avoid him? Well, he joined. <laughs> well, he's here. <laughs> Um, well, easier. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Mortal Kombat movie. Like, oh, I, what, um, I don't care. What it. annoys me about it, what annoys me about it is just think of something else to write. Think of something original. Think yeah. of, I don't care how cliched it is. If it's fun, it'll do well. Yeah. If it's original, it'll do well. Just make something new. Yeah, just stop thinking. Just stop going, wow, this game is great. Movie time. No. Just literally, no. like, if you like the idea of... I don't even know. How do you do a Mortal Kombat movie? Like, I, Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. But... If you like the idea of Mortal Kombat, a couple of characters that are great fighters, blah, 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 and it's gory and shit, come up with a movie yourself. Come up with characters yeah. yourself and name it, I don't know, whatever you want. Whatever you want, yeah. But don't... Well, okay, well, what, what would be a discount name for Mortal Kombat? <laughs> a discount name for Mortal Kombat? Um, death Fighting. De- ah no, uh, death no we can do better than that. Okay. De- death- no, it's, are you just trying? To, are you just trying to think of the John Claude Van Damme movie? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, okay. Um, oh, I had no. Okay, hang on. Mortal Kombat. Mortal it would just be people scrapping. People scrappers. <laughs> people scrapping. You need to make a movie called People Scrapping, and it'll yeah. do well because it has a weird title. Yeah, and 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 it'll be. A thing on, on its own. Like, do you know how many people hate video games? Yeah. A lot. And then if you instantly make a film and then they go, oh, it's based on a video game, you're going to lose all those people instantly. Yeah. So they're like, oh, video game, fuck that. But like, oh, just oh, okay. come up with your own story. Come on. like. Yeah, I don't mind something being inspired by it. I don't mind something being... Yeah. Like, okay, the one... I, I haven't really called it a video game story, but what we're kind of talking about is, he, like, that was Yes Man? Not Yes Man. The Ryan Reynolds one where he plays an AI in a video game. Oh, um, <clears throat> that hasn't come out yet, though, has it? No, it hasn't. Um, but I'm trying to think of what it's called. Something Man. Yeah, I know the one you're on about. Um, yeah, anyway, look, that you one. Talk like, that, I, I love that idea of seeing, because, like, we play so many video games, especially like GTA, so seeing this set in some form of GTA universe... Yeah, <laughs> and just seeing a random AI go living about his life really interests me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, free guy. Free guy, thank you. Yeah, so, so it's shit like that. Think of like if it's inspired by video games, great. But don't turn around and say, "Here's a Legend of Zelda game." Sorry, <laughs> movie. I won't yeah, watch yeah. that. I, I won't, won't watch yeah. that. No, just leave it alone. Just come up with your. Do leave it alone. Be inspired by something. But come up with your own stuff. I would even go as far to say, if you want to have it in the same world as whatever you're talking about, 
go grand, ahead grand but don't have the main focus like like oh let me try to think of something on top of my head if you want to talk about uh, like Halo or something like that you want to talk about Spartans or shit like that go make something about different Spartans or something like that uh, something completely new literally make like a Halo Reach or a Halo 3 ODSC but completely different from everything else Exactly. And just yeah. have something cool to go with it. But yeah, don't, don't do don't just like a Master Chief. It. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> oh, it annoys me. And what's we're really funny is, it, even though. though we're saying all this, the Monster Hunter did that and it was shit. <laughs> yeah. It, but it did, it did it to a certain extent. To an extent. All the cool monsters were still there. Exactly. Um, I, saw all the, I saw the stereotypical weapons in the game as well. I was like, okay, I've seen those before. It's cool. It's yeah. just fan, it's fan. What's it called? Fan service. Yeah, fan service. Yeah, but yeah, just leave it alone. Come up with your own stuff. Yeah, like okay, because I watched a, a show um, not too long ago. It's an anime, but it's, it's called it's called Goblin Slayer. But yeah. what is an interesting thing in it is they make reference to like a bigger event happening outside of your people. So like there's like a, a squad of, sorry, a party of five, I think, that you kind of follow. But they make reference to like other things happening, like a big demon being displayed by other heroes and stuff like that. Yeah. What I find really cool about that is it's set in a world where something huge is happening, but they're focusing on these people here in their own world. And I'm like, that's really interesting to me because you're focusing not on like the big thing happening in the world yeah but an interesting sub part happening in the world and it's just as interesting do that yeah yeah do that you know what's another thing i never understood about movies like superhero movies uh-huh. like um like i'm trying to think of a movie here um like thor or yeah like thor when like loki comes along and is like no, not Loki. In the first Thor, where that big robot thing shows up and it's destroying mm. the fucking city. Yeah? The Destroyer, I think is what it's called? Yeah, it probably is. <laughs> but that, that shit shows up and it's just Thor. Where are the rest of the superheroes? Yeah. I never understood that. I know it's kind of like, obviously, it's a Thor movie, so you can't have every super. But are they just like at home? Like, is, is Tony Stark at home, like, watching TV and going, oh man. Oh well. Well, I guess around, <laughs> I guess around, like you can kind of understand the first few happening, like in the first few movies of the MCU occurring, you can mm. kind of be like, all right, the Avengers weren't set up. It's it's okay for them not to be around because they're not actually in cahoots just yet. Yes, I said the word cahoots. Um, <laughs> so they're not really together like that. But in some, certainly in some of the older ones, <coughs> yeah, it's sorry, some of the newer ones. You're like, yeah, wh- where are they? Are they literally just sitting back on Like in fucking Winter Soldier, where the fuck are the rest of them? Exactly, like, wh- wh- where are ye, you know? And don't get me wrong, it doesn't take away from the movie. Winter Soldier is one of my favourites, if not my favourite. Which is yeah, probably a like, common thing a lot of people. And like, you fucking Spider-Man 2, you have what is quote-unquote an Avenger-level threat. Hmm. And they don't show up. Like, there's these... M- demons that could destroy the whole world if he gets big enough but hey we yeah. have a kid that swings from the vine and some random fella that came along and told us but like a random <laughs> if, yeah. if bloody um uh, what's his name um michael um not michael samuel l jackson is uh oh. his character i forgot his name um, nick fury nick fury is like Oh, so this fella can destroy the world if we let him get big enough. Let me call all my boys. <laughs> send <a> tween. <laughs> Let's um. So this, my God, this send in Tom Holland. Let, Fucking hell, God. we'll talk about him again. <laughs> bring in Spider Man. <laughs> yeah. You, you want me to call Thor? Nah, just bring in Spider Man. We'll be okay. No, no, no. Bring <laughs> <laughs> Captain yeah, Marvel. Weird. Nah, 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 nah. Bring At least Spider-Man. she has like, a reason that she's out of world, and there's other like. Like, I know that was one of the main things that happened with like people were like, well, where was she in Endgame for most of us? Like, yeah, like, what I think people don't forget is it's not just happening on Earth. It's happening Yeah, and she does say everywhere. that. Everywhere. Yeah. And she does say that, but people still neglect her. I'm like, no, it ha- like, it, not Earth isn't the only one that needs a hero. Everywhere needs a hero. Exactly, yeah. That was quite deep. That was deep. 
Mm. <laughs> right, before we move on from movies, I just want to bring up something that I watched yesterday. Oh? I watched the movie Witches yesterday. With Annie Hathaway? With Annie Hathaway. Uh That movie is fucked up. Yeah, the original one's also fucked as well. What the hell? Have you ever read the the book? It's PG? That shit scared me. Yeah, it's fucked. That was what the... Yeah. Uh, like this, this she like Annie Hathaway fucking stretches her arms at at one point right but it's not just stretch she like she like grows a bone so it literally looks like yeah. she's all crooked and it's what is going on and like her They're, mouth opens up all yeah. the way to her. what that movie is creepy the movie is pretty fucked the book is just as fucked which is funny because it's written by Roald Dahl who's a children's author <laughs> Um, it's don't get me wrong the movie was enjoyable but I was just so freaked out by it that it was so creepy got a lot of flack it did and, and, uh, and unnecessary flack um, one was because of the way that Anna had to be portrayed uh, you talked about the hand thing just there apparently she got a shit ton of flack for how she portrayed that but, but you know what what it was she, she they say that she portrayed uh, people with only wait because she, she only has three fingers in the movie yeah um, and she's like oh the way you portrayed someone with three fingers was really disrespectful what as a witch that eats people as a witch that eats kids don't read the book it gets worse it's worse than the book what? How? and she had to apologise for that she did. In fairness, she did pretty gracefully too. Um, and everything kind of just stopped then as soon as she did it. But at the same time... She shouldn't have to. She shouldn't. It's a fictional... No, no, sorry, no, no, not the fact that it's a fictional character. It's a marriage fictional character. The fact that it's a witch. Yeah. It's and it's not her. It's, her. It's, it's based on a book. It's not it her. It's not her idea to be like, yo, give me only three fingers. No, no, no. You, you can have five. No, no. Give me three. No, I want to really push myself. What? Yeah. I don't get that. And I, 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 don't, I watched it and I was like, there is nothing wrong going on here. Like, Yeah. I, I don't think... Like, okay, we, on, we like, can't really, I guess, say how it happened. Like, why it's annoying people. Yeah. But at the same time, if you're, if you're saying that someone who only has three fingers is being misrepresented in this movie... You might be calling everyone with three fingers a witch. Go back to Salem. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand. I don't, maybe we're maybe we're missing a key aspect of this complaint. Maybe I want to say we are. That's why I want to really... say we are because I doubt it's just because it's she had three fingers. Yeah. You know, I don't know though. I I, I don't know either, and I, that's why I'm not really too perturbed by it I'm just a bit more confused by it because again she's a witch she's weird she's fucking her, as you said her mouth opens completely I, yeah. like, that's a portrayal that you deem inappropriate as three fingered people what this is, is? This, this is the heading Warner Bros apologizes after the witches sparks backlash from people with disabilities yeah um, it's not like there wasn't any like they were pointing and laughing at her. Was was there? No. Was the fucking book. No, they don't. They don't point and laugh at her. They just mention that that like the the grandmother is like telling them how you know what a witch yeah. looks like. You know. If that's if that's what they're getting annoyed about, I can kind of understand it in fairness, saying oh if people people who have three fingers are a witch. But again, we don't live back into fucking. Um, in the Puritan times where if you can do math you're going to get burnt at a stake oh, like the, the, the backlash is saying that p- children watching the movie are going to <laughs> link people with three fingers to monsters and therefore will treat people with a limb disability as monsters. That's the backlash. 
Uh, I I don't know. I feel like kids are going to be a lot more intrigued by the fact there's only three. Like it says instead of five, the, three four. this representation in witches teaches kids that limb difference are hideous or something to be afraid of. But it's not. It's literally saying that if it's a witch. <laughs> yeah, it's... I understand where they're coming from there, but the fact that it's still a witch, it's still... It's not just... like the. No, it's not like the only thing about her is that she's three fingers and then she's just a horrible person. Mm. Like... It's not. It's not just like I have three fingers. I have no powers, no nothing. I'm just a horrible person, and I have three fingers. Then I'd be like, fair enough. Yeah. But the fact that they have the wide open mouth, they can float. They don't have toes. They they, yeah, they don't have the they don't, they have, don't have hair. Toes. Their nostrils opened up to eight. I think it was like eight uh, inches in diameter. Like, yeah. there's a lot more than just having three fingers. There's a lot, yeah, there's a lot more, like, like, and all that is probably taken into account as well, also, we're really over time, but we'll finish this point anyways. And they're also teaching like, you not to take candy from strangers, so I think they should really Also teaching you that. not to wash as well, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, uh, like, I don't, I don't know either, and I don't, I, <laughs> like, the whole thing of, it'll teach kids that people with disabilities are monsters I feel is a little I don't know I don't I don't really know I don't think it I I don't know I I, 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 I didn't get know. that from it anyway you're not a kid I think I'm not a kid um, I don't know mm. maybe, maybe it was but maybe it wasn't I don't know yeah <clears throat> I don't, yeah it's it's an unusual one alright uh, anyway, games. So I was going to bring it up. Yeah, games. Um, some good things coming to games. Yeah, that I've forgotten about. Yeah. So uh, like intriguing. Um, let me find it again. Uh, this is this, yeah okay. Uh, we we gave the what you call it the statistic this year uh, at the beginning this that thirty one billion hours have been played. On Steam alone. On Steam alone. So this is like gaming is fucking thriving lately. Yeah. And it's really cool to see. Yeah, definitely. But I kinda wanna bring up the issue you brought up with me yesterday. <laughs> okay. I could forgot your, what this issue was. Your Xbox lack. Oh yeah. Or just next gen in general. Yeah, just Yeah, so I still don't have an Xbox <laughs> Series. Series X. X. Um because the lack of um, availability. What's going on? Yeah. What What's going on? Why 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 don't we have any? Um. Oh, excuse me. Like oh, excuse PS Five. Yeah, there's still a lack of availability, but they've had two or three times where they've released a couple. Mm-hmm. Xbox haven't released anything. Not any. Not in the UK or Ireland, anyway. Um, yeah, at least. At least over here, not. So I don't know what's going on. And like that's the other side of so many people getting into, into gaming. Yeah. It is like there's there's such a big lack now, and like so many people are getting into it. So many more people are buying things. Like it's crazy. Yeah, I don't understand why they. There isn't a constant flow of availability every one or two weeks yeah like i like i know they might be like doing this whole like um they're making a load of them and then like in a week (laughs) in like a a month or so they're just gonna be like Mm. here's like a hundred thousand xboxes and then everyone gets them and that's probably what it's gonna happen but just I'd rather if they just gave us a, a constant influx of these till, you know, it was grand. Hmm. Because then you could be more so like, oh, I missed out on my chances to have my way for the next time. 
Ireland is waiting for again you're either waiting for certainty or you're just waiting for um, how do I say like, it's either certainty or just engagement with Microsoft like constantly trying to figure out when it's going to come yeah. out so one will just make you annoyed I feel like if you were to be constantly <coughs> waiting for the new influx to come along and you hope you get this time and you just end up not like a big bulk is probably more certainty for you yeah like I, I like and there's no there's no um there's just no communication from Xbox no. to be like there will be some available from this date some or all or we won't have any available till early February I just want a bit of certainty like you said yeah <clears throat> I just want to know you know yeah just want to figure it out by now because for all I know like I could go like I could be, I don't know, working Monday and like from nine. And then by the time I finish work, I look at my phone and be like, oh, they just release a bunch of them. And then I go look and they're all gone because mm. I wasn't ready for it. You know, you have to give a bit of like, tell us. <laughs> yeah, it to give, what's, my, what's going on with my fucking voice? Yeah, um, you got to give notification to people. You got to give some form of communication between when it's coming out and when it's going to be out of stock again. Yeah. Like, again, so many people getting into this year. So many people are, are still stuck at home. Like, we, we fucking are. So, having yeah. that type of setup having is, is a godsend, really, because we have shit to still do. But yeah. Yeah, and it's really frustrating. Um, Because, like, you, like, when Xbox One came out, it did sell out, but there was a lot more consoles available. Yeah. And they came back in stock fairly speedy. Like, they did in fairness, yeah, what they, happened? They, this came out, and, like, no one got it for Christmas. Because they were sold out. Unless you managed to get a pre-order, like. Yeah, it was... Yeah, so it's, it's just... Just trying to see where where it's going, when it's going to come out and what's going to happen. Just be patient, I guess. I guess, I yeah. Think you can do. Yeah, there's not there's not, uh, <laughs> there's not I can do to be honest. Mm. You know, bar weight. Yeah, and we're going to be impatient as well. We also have releases coming at some yeah. point. Eventually, um, two big ones, both regarding the same. <coughs> Company, a company developer, is Lucas Film Games. Big announcement this week. They've we made it happen. We 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 spoke it into existence. We spoke it into existence. We literally last episode we were chatting shit <laughs> about how we just want this live action. Yeah, uh, where we just want a Star Wars game. Yeah, and we got and oh, we got it. And we had the yeah, we had the the announcement by Lucas Lucas Games. Wow, none of those words came out the way no. you want, but nonetheless. <laughs> there was the announcement by Lucas Games you got there. Uh, that they have broken, not broken, but they've uh, like parted ways with their exclusivity contract with EA. Hmm. You know, Good. like there was a big exclusivity with EA of just, you're only allowed to have EA Star Wars games. Yeah, and now we have now we have games. Yeah. <laughs> Like in the sec- it was one. announced, and then Ubisoft were like, "Yep, we're making a deadly one." <laughs> yeah, so like Ubisoft have Star Wars at the moment, and then we have Bethesda with, um, not, yeah, a, a section of Bethesda with Indiana Jones. <laughs> yeah, it was so. F- it was just literally like the second it was announced, it was like, "Yeah, we're having all this," you know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, okay. I have because of Assassin's Creed, because of God, I can keep on going for a while. Because there's so many games on Ubisoft side of things, yeah. I have so much hope for think... a live action. Sorry, I'm like, what? I'm still what? stuck in games <laughs> and shit like that. Yeah, for a live action game, uh, for a Star Wars f- open world free roam game. But we're them. getting that. Because yeah. of Assassin's Creed. Because of Which all this amazing. type of shit. It's going to be fucking great, and I can't wait. And Ubisoft um, make games f- speedy. You know, we won't be waiting too long for this. No, we won't. Like Valhalla was made pretty swiftly enough. Yeah, as exactly. far as games go, as concerned, and Valhalla's like receiving great, 
great regard yeah. now. It is. Uh, I do, however, have <laughs> my reservations about the Indiana Jones game. That's fair enough. Not necessarily because of what you could do with it. Okay. More so the developers. Ooh, okay. Why? Because they've made the they've made the Wolfenstein games. Now, I'm not it's not disparaging the Wolfenstein game. I love Wolf, I love the two Wolfenstein games. I haven't played Youngblood, but my only issue is Wolfenstein is quite. It's a first person chaos shooter type of thing. Yeah. Where you can be stealthy or you can be loud, you can do whatever the fuck you want. But my main thing with that is the word first person. Okay. I do not want a first person Indiana Jones game. Okay. I want third person. I want interesting combat mechanics. But I have no idea what's going to happen with the fucking Indiana Jones game. Yeah, it's a really weird game to have. Like, is it going to be like, are they going to do like an open world? I would assume so. But the fact that they're calling it an Indiana Jones game as well means you have to be Indiana Jones, which means Harrison Ford's going to, or, or at least a mimic is going to be brought in. Yeah. I mean, an Indiana Jones RPG could be pretty cool. But how? But how, how yeah, exactly. How? Yeah. I don't know. Machine I games, don't, that's who's. No, because, who's like, Indiana Jones isn't, like, a spy. He isn't a superhero he's just a guy in a museum yeah so like there is only so much he can make his way through and he's not like he's not an action hero where he can just like go into a base with like a hundred hundred enemies and he takes them out one by one with his whip you know <laughs> yeah no yeah no yeah what we yeah what you mean by action hero? you don't mean like the 80s action uh yeah you mean the 80s action hero not he because he, he is an action yeah 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 that's what i mean he's an like, adventure yeah. hero more so but yeah like he's not this type of guy who can walk in with like an lmg and just hip fires like fucking already did in commando and yeah. just take out an entire he's fucking more of like uh, of people you know, like, he, he does a fight and he does kill in the films, but, like, he's not, yeah, he doesn't, like, like you said, walk in with, like, a machine gun and just start tearing people apart, you know? Mm. So now, I, I guess, know. this is what's, like, this is actually the one game where I, I, I'll make sure before I say this, actually, because I know we're talking about how um, Ubisoft were a pretty good, um... Yep, that's fine. What's funny is because we said that Ubisoft was a really good choice for um, the Star Wars game. I feel like Ubisoft would be an even better choice for this game because they have the Tomb Raiders under their, under yeah, their that's belt. True. Yeah. And I would much rather a Tomb Raider based third person puzzle game because that would suit Indiana Jones pretty well. The it might only be something thing is like that, actually, yeah. Yeah, but the only thing is, if Ubisoft were to do that, they just use the engine that they use Tomb Raider on, and it would just feel like a Tomb Raider game as Harrison Ford. Yeah, which isn't bad, but it's just rehashed. So this is just going to be unusual. <laughs> yeah, definitely very unusual. Uh, it's a very weird one. It is a weird one. Um, I, I actually, the more I kind of think about it, I wouldn't even mind if things were flipped. And Star Wars went to Bethesda, and Indiana Jones went to Ubisoft. Obvious for that obvious reason, for that one. Um, and I wouldn't mind if Star Wars was given to Machine Games, which is the subsidy of um, yeah. Bethesda, because again, like they do like quick first-person shooter games. Well, they've only done the Wolfenstein ones, so they might be looking to expand their repertoire. But I would love like if they made some like. I don't know, Bounty Hunter game or some shit like that. That's like, Even if it is the first person, that's similar to what like <coughs> Cyberpunk could have been. Well, it's just like a free roam first person game where you do your own shit. I feel like they could have done something like that if it was given to machine games. I still have a lot of faith with Ubisoft. Ubisoft might even pull oh, something definitely. better. And, like You could become a Jedi or some shit. But yeah, yeah I kind of would have rather. Yeah, they kind of just said open world Star Wars game. They didn't specify Jedi or... Is it going to be a bounty hunter? Hmm. Oh, imagine. Oh, imagine if it's a bounty hunter RPG. I, I just hope we're not waiting like six years for this. 
We will be. I know. <laughs> but I hope we're not. And also, Ubisoft potentially going to Game Pass would be awesome yes. for this. That would be on because okay they've already kind of hinted at that because i was looking at game pass last night and rainbow six siege is there yeah so it's certainly in the works oh definitely yeah well, that would be massive for game pass oh incredible because like they already have ea so a load of the sport games are there now fair enough none, some of the new ones are there but you still get the discount from them so brilliant but like Ubisoft yeah. will have like Watch Dogs Legion you have which is critically underrated I feel um, yeah I, I wouldn't buy it but like if it was given to me I would probably play it I played the shit out of it I, I'm, I'm thinking about getting it but like, again I'm loving Cyberpunk at the moment so mm. I don't need another game for a good long while yeah and I have Game Pass I'm playing other like sub games as well like during the day so I don't really worry about it but yeah, oh, I, I, if Ubisoft does get brought out onto Game Pass, that's going to be too many games. Oh, it's going to be way too many games. <laughs> it's way too many to get through. The same happened when like, EA yeah. came on for like back, ooh, 2016, 14, 16, 2016. Yeah. When EA, a bunch of EA games were just released for free and Battlefield 4 was one. I was like, I was overwhelmed with that shit. I, was like, I have yeah. no idea what to do. I played the shit out of Battlefield <laughs> 4. I went up to a higher rank and you did and you owned the game. <laughs> yeah, that was mad though. <laughs> that was fucking funny. That I remember insane. when you joined in, I was like, what rank are you? <laughs> How are you doing this? <laughs> I was like 87 and you were 42. I was like, I, I've i had it for a week. Am I sad? I am sad. <laughs> I just can't wait for a new Battlefield game. Oh, yeah, okay. If we're going to talk uh, about our hopes for games... There has been hints at Battlefield six, six, yeah, six, yeah, because Battlefield it was f- Battlefield five, Battlefield Battlefield one was World War One, and then Battlefield V or five, yeah, and then the yeah it would be six, yeah. This is six, yeah, it would be six, yeah, and if it, like, if they just because they say it's come back to modern times, yeah, and it's thank you released this year. To what? It's meant to be released this year. Again for my slow brain? Yeah. Holidays 2021. <laughs> okay. One more time? Yeah. yeah, just, yeah. I'm Holidays there. 2021. <laughs> I've reached it. I've reached. I've reached. I've reached contentness. Can't make that reference. Have another beep. Um, oh. But yeah, it's, gone, it's it gone back to... Not futuristic, but modern. New. Yes. Modern, which is awesome. Which is... Awesome. On fucking real. Yes. It is just... That's like, Battlefield like, 4 style of yeah. game. Which is... All I want. Mm. Give me a Battlefield 4 updated graphics. Oh. Keep everything else the same. Remaster Battlefield 4? Oh. Oh, I'm, oh yeah. Imagine. That was, oh, I played that was shit. shit out of the game. Because that's the type of game where, like, we love playing that because, unlike COD, if you do shit, you don't realise if you're doing... You're, yeah, you could you, think you're doing really shit. Yeah, exactly. But you look at the scoreboard, you're fifth. Yeah, exactly. You'd be like, man, I'm doing bad. And then you look and you have, like, 30 kills. But, yeah, you've, like, 105 deaths. But you've, you've 30 kills. And you're like, man, I'm not doing that bad. <laughs> it's like, oh. Okay, and, you, and yeah, like you said, you're stuff. fifth. And you're like, damn. <laughs> yeah, and even if, like... And what's so good about it is, like, if you're, like, if you're just getting pummeled and you're like, oh, I'm going to switch, like, you can switch out. You can switch out from a sniper to an LMG or you can switch Whatever. out from a person to a boat. Exactly. No, that game where we played in a boat, we were we were playing a game on Battlefield 4 and there's a map where it's boats. mainly water. It's mainly, like, uh, border, it's water and there's just a bunch of islands. And me and Connor got onto a boat. <laughs> <laughs> and we just went... Right, I got I. Connor came first. I came second. Right, I came second with zero kills. You had one. All you had one. one. I was in. All I did, all I did was repair his (laughs) the ship. Uh, Every time we got shot, I just had my fire. um, What's called your repair torch? My torch and just repairing (laughs) the boat. That's it. So fucking funny. It was, and it's just stuff like that. You can just do do things like that. It was just oh what a game! 
So I'm going to have to pause for a moment. I have a voicemail. <laughs> okay. Sorry about that. Oh, living in an apartment block and having to run down and collect a delivery of food that was, wasn't supposed to be here for another half hour. an hour to <laughs> two hours is a, a task. Oh, it's tiring work. It's a task, yeah, it's a task in itself. What the fuck were we talking about before I got that? Uh, Battlefield 6, and I think we were pretty much nearly there. Oh, are we nearly there? Okay, yeah. No, it, once it gets back to its modern stage, once it gives us back those <clears throat> Battlefield 4 style... Like, in fairness, the, the Battlefield 5 maps weren't bad. They were really fun. The, I think the only issue with Battlefield 5 is like, okay, it's World War Two. You have... You just have so much limitations and it's been done so many times. Why keep doing it? Yeah, yeah. you have a lot of limitations, especially like... Like, there's no laser sights. The sights are different. Yeah. You know, there's... All these attachments are different, like, like that's where it's it's very limited. So just bring it back to modern day, and just give us something cool. Yeah, give us a unreal. Be, be <clears throat> yeah, bring some badass. Give us those big, just unreal feel to game. That's one thing EA can do really well. In fairness, is give us these huge. Yeah, in fairness. Oh, sorry, I'm really out of breath. Um, <laughs> these huge battles. Uh, I'm seriously out of shape. <laughs> but like the first game I'm thinking of is Battlefront Two. Oh yeah. The new one now. Like, you I, you haven't played the new Geonos Geonos Geonosis Geonosia map, map. Yeah, Geonosis map. Sorry, yeah. I don't think so. Um, you know, because there at one point when you're like guiding these big ATTE tanks down, a big fucking sandstorm just fucking flows over the the battlefield. Yeah, and you just see like blue and red lasers fly out of everywhere. Like the people who shoot get illuminated for a second. Like, oh my god, it's so cool. <laughs> And like you're like pushing up and all these like, it's so dramatic and epic and yeah. cool. And that's not to say that Battlefield Five wasn't that as well. <clears throat> There's a few maps in that where you're like on it, you know, you're like on a bridge, or you're like pushing up through a town, and like a Panzer tank can like blow up the side of a fucking building. That's like EA can make dramatic games. Oh yeah, make it modern, and you got your shit together. Oh, you got us. <laughs> yeah, you got us. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for a Battlefield game. Yeah, same. I'm always going to be excited for Be free. Yeah. For us. Could be. Game Pass. Could be. It'll be free for like 10 hours, maybe? Yeah, for a while. And then we'll have to buy it. Wait, I'm okay no, with that. do it. I'll buy it. Just Ubisoft, don't give us another break point, will you? No, oh, God. <laughs> yeah. You got to do it, do it right. If you want to do it, do it like Wildlands. We started playing it again the other day. Shit, like, that game was fun. Oh, it's fun. <laughs> but yeah I think that's it yeah I, I can't really think of anything else besides that there's a Resident Evil showcase coming up at some point um, I would worry not about really that. much to say on that yeah, yeah. I think that's Just it keep an ear out for it yeah yeah I think so we're probably missing something we'll remember later we probably will but besides Cyberpunk files detailing at a multiplayer thing but it seems like it's deathmatch and a heist mode, <coughs> so I, uh, I'm not big on that. Yeah, it's not really a game for that. I think. No. No, it is not. But yeah, no, that's it. That's it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> oh God. Bye, everyone. Uh, bye, bye now. Yeah, bye, bye. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> <laughs>